Hi, everybody. Welcome to Katie Moonchild's World. I'm Katie, and this is Saturday Solutions. We come here in hopes of we look at our current situation and hope to find some kind of a solution for the issues that we have going on. <sighs> it's a beautiful day here. Weather has been so strange, really windy, cold. What it has done is finally, finally here in the Southwest desert, fall is here. Yeah. Our trees are changing, finally. <laughs> yeah. And I'm loving it. So, everybody, are you ready? Let's see what our current situation is. I have to apologize. I'm very limited as to how I can shuffle. Um, I got a few days off, so I'm going to go get my, 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 my shots tomorrow morning. Yeah, COVID number five, my flu shot and a shingles shot. Um, odds are I'm not gonna feel very good tomorrow. <laughs> Um, I actually am not feeling the top of my game right now, if you want to know the truth. So, yeah, this started hitting me last night. I have a side effect from breast cancer that makes it where they can't give me shots in my left arm. So I have to get them all in one arm. And uh, the arm hurts. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm alive and this too shall pass. So, what's our current situation, Spirit? It was a lovely walk to Walgreens yesterday. I walked through the neighborhood and saw any changes in people's yards and houses and Halloween decorations and it was nice. It was a good walk. But I'm glad I'm home. So let's get this going here. Oh, well, in case you're wondering why I walked, I don't own a car. <laughs> Walgreens is only about mm, four or five blocks down the street. It's actually three blocks if I go down the main, the main street. But if I go through the neighborhood, it's like six blocks because, it, you know, got to jig and jog through the neighborhood. But I'd much rather walk through the neighborhood. Besides, the exercise is good. What's our current situation? got this on Thursday. Look at this. It's the wind card. Let's pull this back just a bit. And not quite so far down. There! It's a nine card. No. Um, I had uh, Nancy Jean's garden on um, Thursday night on the uh, Lightworkers Roundtable. So, uh, and we pull a card every time on that. And uh, I got wind as well. Not exactly this card, it was a different deck. Feel the wind in your face, that's change. You know, my favorite place to sit and think of when I'm meditating is a discovery point. I'm letting you in on the secret here, my meditation spot. Discovery point, Crater Lake National Park on the rim of the lake. I've sat there so many times and watched storms roll into that water. And 
I get so into the meditation, I feel the wind on my face. I also hear and see wind. We've been hearing a lot, a lot of wind. Hot air, incompetent, unvetted people put into positions of high places who have no business being there because they don't even begin to know how to do the job. This is people's lives we're talking about here, not just a few people's personal life in their pocketbook. I have real strong feelings about what's going on right now politically. It, it's, yeah, it's a mess, but it's gotta be the chaos before we have the calm. So that's where we're at. But you know, <laughs> hell on your motorcycle, attainment, you know, this is a nine card. It's about to attain, atta to attainment, attainment, fulfillment and fruition. We've got in the back of our minds, hurry up, see the falcon there? Falcon here, He's saying hurry up. The winds of change are here, hurry up. We're shining our light, it's there. It's nice because it's coming from deep deep within that light. We aren't so relying so much on the moon right now for it. Could that be because we're heading into winter? We won't be able to see the moon very often. It'll still affect us, the energy's there. It's just, it won't be a visual thing for us now. So. Winds of change. That's what I'm hearing in that card really loud. Let's see. Oh, by the way, that was the uh, Mystical Shaman deck by Colette Baron Reed. And now I am uh, using this is her uh, Shaman Stream. And we're going to find out what we're looking for. What is our goals? Sorry if my timing and what I'm saying seems to be kind of off compared to usual. I got a reason. <laughs> don't feel so well. Don't feel so well. I don't feel so well. Don't feel so good either. What is our card, please? Okay, that one. Thank you. Oh, what a beautiful card. I'm just going to let you look at this for a few minutes. Welcome to the Garden of Venus. That's why we're on the, the gates. That's where we want to be. Garden of love and beauty and clarity. Control. Things are controlled gently there. It's a place for reflection and assessment. who we need that's our goal we need to walk through that archway because we need rest and renewal so when we're in a beautiful place rest and renewal comes easy 
We've been through so much the last two and a half years, just the last two and a half years alone. Not the few, what, three years before that. Heck, with me, <laughs> I've been fighting for so long. I am tired and I'm still fighting. You know, Roe v. Wade, when it was, went in, I was just at that age. 15, you guys. 15 years old. It was crucial for me. And I was so blessed to have that in my childbearing years. I'm not in those anymore. It's time for rest and renewal in the new life. You know, that castle back there in the background on this card. That's where we're headed. The protected place to rest and find renewal. That's what we want so bad. How do we get there? From feeling, feeling the winds of change, blowing all around us, hot, cold, every which direction. Look at the difference between those two, the energies of those two cards. This one is chaotic and hard to function in. It's hard to keep your head above everything in. And this, this is the tranquil, quiet place, that harmony. This is our dream. We are earning that goal, that destination, by going through these winds of change. So we need a map. How do we get from stop preventing ourselves from being blown away by the winds of change to that garden of Venus, that rest and renewal, or it's calm. Craziness stops. We need a map, how to get there. How do we get the craziness to stop? Mm. And I've got the enchanted map deck. By Colette Baron reed <laughs> You know, she has a YouTube channel too, you guys. She talks about a lot of really interesting things. Like Raina George, she has a YouTube channel. I will put the link in the description box if you're interested in following Ms. Colette Baring reed Oh, this card keeps sticking to my hand, my fingers, so. Really? Okay. Mm. Look at this card for a little while. See the goblins in there? We got to make our way. This is a pathway. And we've got to make our way through this path of conflict, change, because change brings about some instability. Um, when you're trying to figure out what's working and what's not working, yeah, things are unstable. 
You can maneuver through this path. It's telling us to watch out for the hobgoblins and the the members of the elements of the earth that will mess with you and tease you, stumble you, make you feel like you just can't take another step. Yeah, they're there and they're messing with your head. As Nancy Jean said on Thursday, our heads are being messed with you guys. Think about it. Think about it. Everything is different. It was like we had a reset. But in this reset, there are still dark entities that we need to watch out for. Temptations, addictions, um, dishonest people. People who profess to be your bestie, your lover, and it turns out they're only using you, but it slowed you down for a few minutes to getting to your goal, didn't you? So that's what this card is telling us to watch out for. Watch out for those things that will distract you make you stumble and know that they've been placed there for a purpose. They've been placed there to teach you something about where you're going with your goal. They've also been placed there to test you. How ready are you to achieve that goal? Think about that for a while. The more I look at that card, the more I see weirder and weirder creatures down there in the dark in eyes and yeah. Wow. I'd say we got a shocker blocked without a doubt. <laughs> oh my, my. What is it? So if we want to weather the winds of change and end up in that Garden of Venus for our rest and renewal, we're going to get there. We just have to understand that there's going to be things that are going to stumble us and be wary of them. We're going to get there. Just be wary of them. What chakra do we need to work on? What interesting looking cards in together. The, in, within the winds of change, there are goblins that we need to watch out for as we go down the path to the garden of Venus to rest and rejuvenate, rest and find renewal. Hmm. Hey. Huh. Yep. Guess what popped up, gang? Yeah, you see that. These are the uh uh <laughs> kaleidodope <laughs> swatches of chakra. <laughs> By Crystal Banner. Yeah, it's our throat chakra again. We're having a hard time uh, speaking up for ourselves. Or is it how we are speaking up for ourselves? Something wrong there in that throat chakra. Because, you know, that's the center for communication, expression, truth, and, you know, sounds. What you say. When it's balanced, you're great at expressing yourself clearly in communication. You speak your truth. You're honest. 
you have a sense of integrity. There's a word you don't hear a lot. And you stand up for yourself. You're willing and able to voice your opinion. When it's out of balance, you're unable to express yourself. You feel stifled in communicating. Like people talk over the top of you and will not let you finish your sentence. You know, that's frustrating because you know those people aren't hearing you. They're not listening to you because they're so busy focusing on what they need to say next. That may be because the way you're communicating it is as you're communicating it swiftly or in a in a tone that it makes them feel like, well, I'm not going to interfere or question that. So that stifles their communication as well. Okay. Yeah, in office in authenticity. Put your teeth in. <laughs> you don't feel like yourself. And that's the most uncomfortable feeling. And because of that, you have a tendency to want to manipulate and lie. And the next thing you know, you're gossiping. And you have fears of being judged because you're judging by gossiping. All of that is a self betrayal because you're ignoring your inner voice and that is the most important communication now the stones to help with this turquoise aquamarine Celestine, get this guy out of the way, he's small. The bigger one in the back. Azurite, that's what that big one is. Just prop this guy up there. Turquoise. And agate. Now, agates you can find all over the place. Blue lace agate, that's a really good one because it's blue for your, your throat chakra. Um, now, when you walk by a mirror, I don't want you to avoid mirrors either. When you walk by a mirror, stop and tell yourself these things. I am honest and clear in my communications. That one especially, that one's major affirmation. Reminder to you, you've got to be clear in that. You know, I have a right to speak my truth. It's how you speak your truth that matters. It's the tone you use in speaking your truth that gets and affects people. I live an authentic life. You're not lying to yourself. You're not lying to anybody else. It is what it is. And you are who you are because boo, nobody does you any better than you do. And we need you. I express myself through creativity, like music, writing, and art. You know, that's also in, like in helping others uh, move or repair a roof or like as in patching a roof um building a fence digging a hole planting a tree um that's being creative too because you come up with solutions as you do that and you have to be creative to find a solution and finally tell yourself i love you You're all I have. I love you.
more you tell yourself you love you, the sooner you'll believe it. Let's put that over there. So we're standing in the winds of change, unable to communi <laughs> communicate. Wonder why it feels like it's the wind is taking chunks out of us. I got my eye on that garden of Venus, that garden of love, rest, and renewal. Yeah, I'm not going to stumble on the goblins either. Although I did stumble yesterday and about broke my toe. But you know what? That's only a toe. I've got nine more. So if I stumble on a dark goblin, they're not going to stop me. And that's how I feel. It's determination. It's perseverance. You know, that's what it's telling us. Stick it out. We got it. I have a feeling this is going to be a very interesting week. And they're being told to use, I'm, this is not the first reading that I have heard. La, um, during the week, I heard more than one person say to watch out for hidden meanings and stuff. Nancy on Thursday, Nancy Jean. Watch out for unsaid things. Watch out for the said things. Research. Use your brain, not just your ears and your mouth that don't bother to bypass, they just bother to bypass your brain. Because some of the things that you believe, you're believing in spouting, kind of sounds like it's bypassing your brain. I didn't say that. Yes, I did. I said that loud and clear. Spirit, I need a message, help me. That card right there. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's move this stones back where they came from. See, my thumb doesn't want to hold on to that card. It's driving me nuts. Well, let's go ahead and just put it back here. <laughs> it's not that much difference. The autumn card. Reese the old, Reese, release the old and rest. So in that garden of love, Venus, we get rest, renewal. We get to let go of all the old baggage. Aren't you tired of carrying that crap around with you? I know I am. My past. The only reason it gets heavy like that is because you carry it with you. You don't let it go. And we're being forced to look at and then release things from the past that we didn't even have any idea was happening. So now we're also being asked to release our old beliefs of patriotism and to restructure a new one that is more fair for everybody. I love it when the crow brings a message. Thank you. Autumn is the time for the veil to be thin, to hear spirit, Be ready, awake, and know. Be ready and know you've got this. This is just the preparation time, autumn. The work is yet to come. Right now, we're just ready to get in the space to start the work. But we got to make plans on what work needs to be done before we can start the work. 
Got to get start on it though. Wow. Awesome. It's a great card. Shall we see what the untethered soul has to tell us? It's our message from the untethered soul. By Mark Singer. I think it's Mark Singer. This deck has four categories. And it's a message card in words, not pictures. Okay, here we go. This is from the going beyond category. Oh, don't go down there. Come on. There. Going beyond category. What if consciousness were to remove its focus from your personal set of thoughts, your personal set of emotions and your limited sensory input? Would you become untethered from the bounds, from the bonds of the personal self and be set free to explore beyond? That's a deep, yeah, that's a deep question. Let's read that again. What if consciousness were to remove its focus from your personal set of thoughts, your personal set of emotions, and your limited sensory input? So, okay, so... You can't focus on your thoughts. You can't focus on your emotions. And you can't focus on what you see, smell, taste, and feel. Would you become untethered from the bonds of the personal self and be set free to explore beyond? So if you let go of being so focused on your thoughts, so focused on your emotions, and so focused on the material world and how it affects you, how it tastes and smells to you. Would you become untethered from the bonds of the personal self? All those things have to do with your choices, your thoughts, your emotions and your sensory input. So if you let go of how you make your choices and let go of promoting yourself in this world, Yeah, I would have to answer that say, and yeah, you would be set free to explore beyond. Because what this card is telling you is if you let go subconsciously or consciously let go of your focus on your attachments, you will be free to expand your personal self to the point where it sets you free to explore beyond without fear to continue on that path, even though you have no idea where you're going. Because you don't worry about such things. That material stuff is provided 
It will be. Because it always changes. Wow. That's pretty powerful. I think we need a little bit of an encouragement, maybe. I don't know about you, I do. Today I do. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm running a fever. Actually, it just broke because I know I'm just starting to get the that cold perspiration feeling. How fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good, because if I had a fever and it just broke, that means I'm going to be feeling better sooner than I thought. And I'm always feeling better sooner than I thought. Okay. This is a therapist. Very large deck. We'll go from a really mini deck to a really biggie deck. <laughs> I'm just going to pull one out of the middle. There we go. Hmm. I need that card today. That's a great card. These don't fit in that very well. So whatever happens today, you'll make it through. Go to sleep, take a nap. Find a peaceful place. Just sit in your garden for a while. Take a look around. You might see tasks and chores that need to be done. But don't you need to do that before the winter comes? You can do that with joy in your heart and wisdom of this owl. It's like the clouds go through that owl. See the cosmos and the stars. Whatever happens today, you got it. We've got this. We all have it. Blessings to you all. Be kind to one another. And be kind to those that aren't kind to you, although I'm finding those are finding less and less and less. But please take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourself so that you can let go of your focus on those attachments of your thoughts, emotions, and sensory input of the material world. Let it all go. You think it's so important, but it really isn't. It's temporary. You'll make it. You know why? Because you're unlimited. We'll see you next time. Thank you. If you like this, please subscribe. Like it and share it if you think someone else may kind of like my little <sighs> card. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.